ready to continue. So um, what we did want to do, unfortunately, Devin Haig couldn't be with us today, but we wanted to take a moment just to uh, recognize one of our PHSA employees who was recently uh, awarded and honored with one of the 2023 Women's Leaders in Digital Health. It's really an exciting um, time to see one of our clinical leaders being recognized from Digital Health Canada. Devin herself, she's got 18 years of experience in digital health and has been instrumental in developing impactful initiatives, notably that acclaimed Get Checked Online program. If you don't know it, I would definitely get yourselves checking it out. <laughs> um, and has a strong commitment to equity, social justice, and the environment. It's really commendable. Um, this particular recognition uh, reflects Devin's strong dedication to truth and reconciliation, especially within digital health. She has a, she's a strong ally at the BC Centre for Disease Control, consistently prioritizing cultural safety and striving to improve access to digital health services for Indigenous communities facing challenges in connectivity and other issues. Her work embodies continual growth and leadership aligning with the principles of truth and reconciliation. I'm honored to celebrate Devin today, although she's not here. Um, and she did pass on just a few words for me to say on her behalf. Um, anyone who knows Devin isn't surprised by her saying that this award was completely unexpected. She's extremely humble in the work that she does, um, but a very big honour for her to receive. She gives thanks to her colleagues for their nomination and to the BCCDC for supporting her work and advocating for digital health equity. She's grateful to Digital Health Canada for recognizing the need to continue moving equity and inclusivity dial forward in the digital health sphere. And so just so you guys know, we aren't able to give Devin a gift, physical gift to recognize her today, but we certainly will be following up to make sure that her efforts are being recognized. All right, now to my closing statements. I'll try to keep it brief because I can tell people are done, right? Uh, but I just wanted to say uh, a number of thank yous and um, I'm not sure about you, but Today's panel discussions have had my mind really going, lots of good questions, lots of good insights, lots of curiosities, absolutely, things that I'm not too sure about just yet, but look forward to finding out about. Um, we, in the coming days, will continue the dialogue. We do have another day tomorrow um, to uh, of all virtual sessions, so we look forward to having you guys join us in the comfort of your own home in pajamas or whatever else you need to wear to enjoy it. Um, Want to take a bit of time just to really extend extreme gratitude to our moderators, all of our panelists. So let's give those people a round of applause. Get some energy in the room. I want to take a moment and I wonder if I could just ask our patient partners in the room to stand so we can give you guys a round of applause, not only for your uh, insights and expertise, but for your full participation and engagement in today's session. Um, thank you so much for being here. And I, I know there's likely more patient partners and family advocates online. So thank you so much for um, being here. Want to also give a huge round of applause for our ASL interpreters who have been working tirelessly throughout the day to support uh, a, a great a inclusive experience for everyone, as well as our captioners who've been providing captioning for those who need it as well. Want to certainly give a round of applause to all the attendees today. You guys have made it to the end. <laughs> so thank you for that. And uh, for all of our tech and background teams, prepping speakers, planning, th those in the little cube, we call it in the back. So just again, a round of applause for everybody there. A couple of things, just again, reminding me that we have a session, virtual sessions all day tomorrow, starting at 10 Pacific time, as well as they're waiting for my to say a design thinking workshop coming up on Friday. There's still room. It's relatively cheap. Please come and sit with us. <laughs> There's going to be food again. And so that again takes place here at the BCIT campus. If you've got questions about it, please let us know. Um, but we would love to see you join. Um, there are um, subsidized tickets for 
patient partners as well as students. So if anyone else is interested, please let us know. Okay, last, just uh, on behalf of the steering committee, thank you for being part of the forum today. And as we move forward, let's carry the spirit of today with us. Let's continue to be catalysts of change, advocates for patient-centric care, and champions of what I think is a digital health revolution. Safe travels to anyone traveling home and look forward to seeing you at future events. Anybody that is registered, unfortunately it was a registration only event for the networking session, um, can start to make their way upstairs to the eighth floor shortly. Thank you all, it's been a pleasure.